This month's STCU Volunteers Count Award winner is Faith McClenny. Faith volunteers countless hours at the Ponderay County Museum. I recently had a chance to sit down with Faith to learn about the museum and the great volunteer work she does there. What will the money be used for? I'm going to, of course, give the museum a gift. I have some other people that I want to gift to for outside. It may go for flowers for the museum grounds. There's always a need for all kinds of things here. We are trying to save as much of the history of, of the Ponderick County as we possibly can, preserve it, and be able to present it in a way that it will educate the adults and children of the value of this county. county. Faith, I don't know where to begin. Faith is awesome. I learn something from her every week. I, on volunteer days on Wednesdays, I create a list all week long and I bring into her and ask her questions that have come up with my personal research to people that have emailed our um, museum here, our Facebook site. People have asked questions and bring them to her and most of the time she has an immediate answer for me. If not, she will take that work home and she will find out. Faith specializes in the river boats of Ponderé County, the Ponderé River. She can tell you the name of the boats, who the pursers were, the captains, where those were located on the river. She's invaluable as the research uh, director for the museum. Um, she has such a vast knowledge of what we have in the file cabinets. Um, and she's worked to organize that and uh, train others to, to find it and to help her. Uh, but she's just a wonderful resource for people wanting to find histories on families or businesses or uh, logging. Um, she's written a wonderful book on Ponderé County uh, that's published and available here at the museum. She's all about education, and that's the goal of the museum, is to educate about Ponderay County and the surrounding area. Part of it is that I am a researcher. We get requests from all over, Facebook, emails, telephone. Um, a large number of those requests are family histories, and people want to know what their family did, and sometimes I'm successful in finding them. When I cannot find any information on them, I say, well, that means that they lived good, strong, upright lives and did not get into the paper, so. <laughs> uh, she's been a volunteer for many years. Um, her family has been in the county for many years. Uh, her father operated a sawmill. And, and once in a while, with the dams, we have to look back at the histories of the, when the dams were cre created and sometimes the level of the river. Just looking at pictures and saying, well, okay, in 1910, this is what it looked like the river was that high. So it, it involves a lot of people. Uh, I meet a lot of interesting people and a lot of very interesting uh, questions. And then at the present time, what we're doing here is we're going through the old Newport miners and indexing all of the obituaries. We have uh, displays on farming, uh, industry, uh, families, um, businesses, commercial developments, and uh, the whole county from Medellin Falls to um, Blanchard Camden area. One of the reasons I enjoy volunteering, I am giving back, but I get a whole lot more. I have, a ch have had the chance to read far more history books than I ever would have had. I've had the opportunity to visit with more interesting people, different people, uh, with all kinds of stories that I would never have had. And I've, I've given lots of programs. I would never have had that opportunity. It helps 
to know the past, to try to build the future.